So uh, get this, uh, Valentine's tomorrow, uh, my lovely wife Marie and I, our 17th wedding anniversary tomorrow. Yeah, very happy, we've been together like 20 years now, uh, 20 uh, very long, long years. No, it's actually been awesome. There's, there's little secrets to it, to long, healthy marriage, I think. You gotta, you gotta uh, agree to disagree, you gotta learn to do that. Finish the argument before bed. That's uh, that's another uh, another given, right? Got to got to get that out of the way, cause otherwise she'll hold on to that fucking thing for like six days, guys. It could be about something like who ate the last piece of toast. She won't forget. So just find a way to agree to disagree, get rid of it, move on. You got you got to spice things up, and, you know, that and sex in public places really seems to be the key. What, what just me, really? Oh come on, who? who hasn't had sex at the movie theater, right? Right? We're right. <laughs> really? Have you seen the second Pokemon movie? It was horrible. What were we supposed to do? The kids were three rows back. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You you gotta spice things up. And Valentine's Day, it's all about love, right? It's all about love. You gotta be in love. Like Jerry's talking about the commercials. Have you seen the one they're running the hell out of this week? For the Vermont teddy bear. Cause what says love, ladies? Is that what you really want tomorrow is the Vermont teddy bear? No. Right, <laughs> guys are on their phone right now. Can I cancel that order? Can I cancel the teddy bear order? Thank you. The Vermont teddy bear. Really? <laughs> she wants a bear? And they even show it on the commercial. Some dumbass sitting at work. Oh yeah, that's a good commercial. Picks up the phone. Like they don't know you put that kind of thought into it. Yeah, get me a bear. Good. I don't care what color. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna get you laid. You know, unless the goddamn thing vibrates and comes with its own little package of lube, she is not gonna want this thing. So I know how you, how you ladies work. The Vermont day. But there's a lot of pressure on guys on Valentine's Day. It's a ton of pressure. You gotta get it right. Gotta get the card, gotta get the flowers, gotta, everything's gotta be right. Cause she, that meter is running, fellas. The minute that the you know the day starts, the meter is running, there you're being judged. <laughs> Wrong kind of flowers, eh, there goes the blowjob. <laughs> Forgot the dinner reservations or a bad restaurant? Uh-oh, no sexy little teddy tonight. What, no card? Oh, you're just doing it, missionary pal. There's a lot of pressure. Tons of pressure. That's why, and uh, I, I've pressed this every year, and it's brilliant. A friend of mine turned me onto a website. I, you gotta go, because it's an awesome idea. Three weeks after Valentine's, day for the guys, day for the ladies, you need your own day, steak and a blowjob day. Yeah. It's a brilliant idea. Steak and a blowjob. Simple, it's easy, and ladies, Think how beautiful your Valentine's is gonna be. How perfect it will be down to the candles and the music and the food because we know steak and a blowjob day is coming. <laughs> We're gonna be, can you imagine the display at Fred Meyer for steak and a blowjob day? <laughs> down in the store. It's gonna be nothing but knee pads and A1 socks. <laughs> Be right next to the, you know, right next to the Easter stuff they're about to roll out, which I think is already here. <laughs> no, well, you know, actually tomorrow's a great day to be a single guy because there's lots of lonely girls looking for. So if you're young and single, guys, don't give up. You know, find some action. You know, here's some action for you. Two words, guys: yoga class. Back row of yoga class. <laughs> Better than a strip club. Have you seen those moves they do? What is the the what is it, the tree? What is, is it? This one? That one's good. The what is it? The downward facing dog? That just sounds hot. Is that anything like reverse cowboy? That one would be cool. <laughs> you gotta do stuff to spice things up, right? I know, like, the white, what works for us, we are like, uh, tonight we'll go home, have some wine, jump in the hot tub. Ladies love the hot tub, that always works too. That's a, that's a good one, the hot tub. Because you, uh, you can have some fun in the hot tub. Of course, you know, it's just a well-placed jet for them, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Hell, you know, you get the girl in the hot tub, uh, for one thing, the, a hot tub works like four shots of tequila on a girl. The Jets is like two extra shots. 
Hell, they don't even need your ass in the hot tub. <laughs> now you go on in, honey. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, sweetheart. I go in. I hear the jets crank up. Okay. Honey, you coming in sometime soon? Yes, I'm coming! Oh, God! Okay. I'll be in watching Cinemax. Call back to my daughter's joke. That's kind of creepy. There's something really wrong. But she's twisted, so it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, we spice things up. We, 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 get, we, get, we have some fun. You know what I want to get? I, I want to score the sex swing. Have you seen the, the fuck swing? Have you seen those? Yeah, yeah? Do you have one? Yes. Oh, they're awesome. With, with the, they got the stirrups and all the places for stuff. And it's like on a spring. It's like a Johnny jump up for fucking. Isn't it cool? I mean, if you don't mind doing it in a doorway. <laughs> but it's cool, because while you're having sex, there's a little place to put your Cheerios. <laughs> That's my time, I gotta go. Thank you much, happy Valentine's Day. I love you, Maria. Happy birthday, Yuri, you're the man. Usually Jerry comes up about now. I don't know what to do. Where's my Jerry? Uh, yeah? I, I think Jerry got a phone call or something. Oh. Here. Take over. Just bring me up, dick. Got it! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Glitter! Oh, oh, no, no, no. You can't just walk up like that. And you're, okay, thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Glitter. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was an emergency at the radio station. Shit, sorry.